now present For the Record. Just ahead, a climate warning as heat skyrockets around the globe. The numbers are starting to become a little more startling. And a sobering crisis among the attorneys holding up the constitutional right for some of the most vulnerable among us. The stress level is very high. But first, a look at Wisconsin's economy. Welcome to For the Record, I'm Naomi Coles. The pandemic hit Wisconsin with record unemployment and left an economy in chaos. Today, new research from the Wisconsin Policy Forum shows our state's recovery has returned in some ways to pre-pandemic levels, but in other ways, not so much. I am joined by Ari Brown from the Forum. Welcome to the show, Ari. Hi, thanks so much for having me. Absolutely, so why don't we start with the good news? What has been going right in Wisconsin since kind of early 2020? Yeah, so, uh... I think by all accounts, the recovery in Wisconsin jobs has been pretty remarkable. Um, we talk about in this report that uh, it took a number of years after the last economic recession of the late 2000s uh, for the state to recover the jobs or the job level that it had pre-pandemic. Um, as of December 2021, the number of jobs in Wisconsin was, was only down about 2.4% uh, from December of 2019, so the same month pre-pandemic, uh, which is a pretty remarkable recovery. It's only a loss of about 70,000 jobs. Uh, and when you consider the disruptions that happened in the economy uh, in March and April of 2020, uh, how many jobs were lost, we were at one of our lowest, uh, actually our lowest uh, job levels uh, in the 21st century in April of 2020. Um, so to think that we're only about two and a half percent underneath what we were pre-pandemic is pretty remarkable. Um, and it shows that, you know, the state um, has really done a great job when it comes to recovering those jobs and, and making sure that uh, individuals in the state are, are employed and, and living their lives. So that's the good news, is it not? But we have to get to the bad news. The recovery's been uneven, and there's some sectors that have been hit a bit harder than others, and they aren't necessarily getting back on their feet quick enough. Is that true? Yeah, so we highlight in the piece that uh, a number of sectors, especially around, you know, items that we would have suspected are most impacted by the pandemic, um, still have not seen that kind of recovery. Um, so we highlight things like in-person retail, um, you know, food service, uh, entertainment, recreation, um, clothing and clothing accessory stores, all of these, um, you know, in-person items that, uh, that have this kind of in-person element and are things that we kind of think of as shutting down very heavily at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, you know, you potentially had stores closing, um, restaurants closing, bars closing, uh, individuals that were employed at those institutions then choosing to go elsewhere. Um, and because of that, the job levels uh, in, in those specific industries are not quite uh, back to where they were. You have um, these specific subsectors of the economy that are down anywhere from 10 to 20 percent uh, relative to the overall drop of about two and a half percent. So those are things that we're still noticing. And I think anecdotally, um, just going around the state, you know, you can go basically anywhere and, and you'll find restaurants and bars uh, and retail stores that don't have the same staffing levels uh, as they used to have, um, which seems to be, you know, just a product of what happened with the pandemic. Reading through your report earlier, it actually seems Dane County restaurants had it nearly the worst in the state. Yeah, so we, we highlight in the report that, that Dane County and Milwaukee County um, both had levels, uh, declines in the restaurant and other food service um, industry that were actually above uh, statewide levels. So um, in Dane County, there was a drop of 13.1%. In Milwaukee County, it's a drop of 11.8%. Uh, and again, this is in December of 2021 relative to December of 2019. A lot of this is seasonal, so, um, and we don't have numbers recent for uh, for 2022 yet. So there's, of course, the potential for some recovery, but as of December of 2021, that's what we were seeing. How is this shifting the economic landscape in Wisconsin? What we were like, what drove our economy before the pandemic versus what's driving it now? Yeah, so I think there's there's long-term factors that you can consider here and there are short-term factors. So the long-term factors, um, Wisconsin, you know, going back decades used to be a really heavy manufacturing state. Um, this is something that, you know, obviously the pandemic didn't disrupt that as much, um, but it's something that's kind of been happening in the background. But one of the things that we were seeing, uh, especially with the pandemic, was a shift away from a lot of this in-person um, in person retail, uh, restaurants, bars, uh, entertainment, recreation, accommodation, things like hotels. Um, the one sector that we saw really gain a lot of jobs was the sector called transportation warehousing. Um, so you can think of a shift away from in-person retail uh, to online retail and online ordering, um, both for you know food and just other items that we use to, to live our daily lives. Um, you can think of uh, an institution like Amazon uh, as being a really big player in this space. So 
want to say like transportation and warehousing, uh, you need somewhere to store all of the goods that people are ordering online. That would be your warehousing. And then you need a way to get people those goods. And that would be your transportation. It was the fastest growing industry by far um, compared to all of the other industries in the state. Um, I suspect that this is not just the case in Wisconsin, but elsewhere as well, uh, as you had a lot of, uh, you know, ways that the economy works shifting from uh from in person to online uh and this is also something that you were seeing pre-pandemic um you know going back to 2016 2017 2018 um with the rise in uh technology and uh technology around online ordering um that allowed you know just more and more jobs to open up in that industry and as online ordering becomes uh more and more popular you're gonna probably continue to see those types of jobs grow just anecdotally, as someone who now vastly prefers shopping from my couch rather than actually going into a store, I think in the mm -hmm. pandemic, we all learned to love our homes a lot more. Are, as you were going through this data, this research, was there anything that really surprised you, something that you weren't expecting to see? One thing that really stood out to us was uh, the decrease in what was called the, the healthcare and social assistance sector. Um, so this includes things like um, outpatient um, services, uh, hospitals, nursing, residential care facilities, social assistance. So all of these kind of healthcare related fields, if you think back to kind of what we term our essential workers uh, right at the beginning of the pandemic, people like healthcare workers, but also um, teachers, just individuals who, who kind of kept our economy going um, and primarily had in-person jobs uh, that needed to be performed. Um, there's a lot of kind of talk of burnout. Um, you know, these were people, especially in the healthcare field, who are putting in um, extra hours going above and beyond their uh, their duties and their responsibilities with their job. Um, with all of that kind of activity and finally reaching this point in the pandemic where things are feeling a little bit safer, people are feeling a little bit more comfortable and, and our case counts were pretty low, um, there was a potential that burnout really started to catch up in this field um, around last summer. Um, because over the course of kind of the last six months of 2021, what we saw was that um, individuals started leaving this sector, and especially within that nursing and residential care facilities, um, which was a subsector that actually reached its lowest employment levels uh, in November of 2021 since March of 2003. Um, this was something that we weren't really expecting, and it kind of surprised us looking at this data. Um, but when you think about kind of all the burnout that was happening, there's definitely the potential that that, that was playing a major role. The other thing that we'll note and that that um, industry experts in you know the healthcare field have, have pointed to is that especially in Wisconsin, a lot of individuals who have uh, these healthcare jobs are on the older end. And just in general, uh, Wisconsin's economy, um, we have now more people who are are reaching retirement age and leaving um, you know the workforce than are entering it on the other end. Um, and this is especially true when it comes to healthcare jobs. Uh, so there's also the potential that just demographic trends caught up to us. That's something that that surprised us and is worth paying attention to. Absolutely. And actually a brief note on that, just to, uh, regular viewers of the show will remember a couple months ago, I had the Wisconsin Hospital Association on here talking about recent research, which very much lines up with everything you just said in terms of we're seeing extremely concerning dips in just medical fields, nursing, doctors, in-home care, et cetera. And part of that, I mean, that's a really sobering reality considering that aging population. All right. All right. Thank you so much for coming on and for doing this research. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. All right, and when we come back, a crisis in public defender backlogs across Wisconsin. That's next. For the record, sponsored by MG&E, your community energy company.